Um, well, first, let me take a quick moment to thank everybody who's here, our local media, our community leaders, um, to the individuals who came out today, came out yesterday, looking for um, our Imam, Sheikh Muhammad um, Adam. Um, my deepest gratitude to, to, to the family and to the friends. My name is Abdi Farahan. I will do my best to MC this event so that we can hear a few individuals who know um, Sheikh Mohammed really well, um, who can uh, humanize him and make an appeal to our Columbus, Central Ohio and Ohio community to provide any information they can possibly provide uh, about Sheikh Mohammed and his whereabouts. Uh, Mohammed is a family man, he's a father, he's a brother, um, he's a community leader, he's an imam in our community. He has been a member uh, extremely active in our interfaith community um, and there is a big hole in our community in our heart today because we're missing him and we want to appeal to anybody who can come up with any information related to his whereabouts to let us know. Uh, before I ask um, some of my colleagues and friends and family members to speak, next to me I would like to also provide some description about Mr. Muhammad Hassan and we ask anybody who has any information related to him to call 911 and provide additional information about him. Uh, Mohammed uh, is an imam, he runs local uh, mosque around the area, um, he is a member of our interfaith community here and, and has been very active participant in bringing our communities together. Last time we have seen him or heard about him, he was driving a um, 2007 GMC Savannah van. Uh, it was blue, yellow in color. Um, I think everybody has a picture of him and we'll provide additional flyers about Mohammed, uh, his pictures, and, and everybody can see him here. The vehicle he has been driving. Um, police report has already been filed. It is not natural for Mr. Mohammed to be missing. So many people within our community reach out to him for spiritual guidance, for counseling, for support. Uh, as a matter of fact, during the pandemic and even before that, Mohammed has been running a food pantry in the area, uh, has done a lot of fundraising on behalf of the community, and he has never failed to answer a call from our community. So he would have been the first person to organize a, 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 a press conference of this nature in the event something bad happens in our community. I came to know Mohammed really well um, during the Katrina, uh, Hurricane Katrina, when he was doing fundraising on behalf of our communities in Louisiana, right? He has never been to Louisiana, he told me at the time. Uh, he has never been to New Orleans, but uh, the disaster he saw there touched his heart and he went around the community collecting money, collecting resources, clothing, and anything else that he could lay hands. Um, so Mohammed was that kind of a person. So I'm gonna ask some of our colleagues and friends who know him well to be part of this appeal and speak on his behalf because he cannot speak now, he's not with us. So we really have to appeal to our Ohio community that he's a man of faith, um, he's a father, he's a very caring individual, um, he's a, a, a son and somebody that's really well missed within our community. There are a lot of young children, he mentors who, miss, who are missing him today. There are a lot of people he provides a lot of care that are missing him today. So please help us find Mohammed. The descriptions will be blasted everywhere and our community will be walking around at every corner in our city to see and find him. So please help us if you have any information related to him or if you see any uh, of this van. I believe the van we're talking about has a sign on it that said school bus or something along those lines or student sign on it. So that is the van he was driving the last time he was seen. So I'm going to ask my, some of my colleagues to say a few words. Um, I'm going to start with Mohammed and the Imam, if, if you don't mind, and Hassan Omar, the, the chairman of the Somali community. <clears throat> You'll hear from uh, the leader of the Somali Community Associations of Ohio. He'll introduce himself and he'll go about the, uh, the search of the police and other details. Uh, first of all, thank you all uh, your support. Uh, my name is Hassan Omar and I'm uh, with the Somali Community Association of Ohio. Uh, Somali community is feeling today uh, sad and pain because one of the best imams is missing. I have been known Muhammad Hassan since 2000 and he was one of the, uh, actually I have to say, a, a good example in our community. 
This is the first time we have ever seen the Somali uh, person who is uh, missing in Ohio, and we're not expecting. We are asking uh, the police, we're asking the law enforcement, we're asking everybody to uh, actually uh, conduct a, a thorough uh, investigation and help us find our Imam. Uh, Muhammad Hassan, as Abdul Razak mentioned, is a father, is a, uh, a son, uh, and he is one of the, I have to say that uh, he created so many opportunities for the youth. He was a, a man who was working in prevention, crime prevention programs, drug prevention programs. He was the one who created and provided the food, those who are in need. And we are asking the public to help us to find our Imam Muhammad Hassan. Muhammad Hassan is not a, actually is a permanent, is a leader, and uh, one who will miss, the community will miss him. So we are requesting the public to help us. As a Somali community, we, his children are here today, and uh, community members are here, imams are here, and we only came here together and, uh, to f ask the public to help us, our brother Muhammad Hassan, who's imam, who is uh, one of the uh, first salaries for Somali community in, in, in Ohio and who uh, we've been relying on so many we, uh, things. Every month we, we, we had uh, meetings every month, and Muhammad Hassan was the one who was leading us uh, when it comes to prayers, when it comes to guidance, when it comes to sharing the information. Uh, as Abdul Saad mentioned, I worked with him during the Katrina, uh, actual hurricanes, and we met the Mayor uh, Coleman, then uh, Mayor Coleman, and we handed, uh, uh, I'm not sure how much the money, but he was the first imam actually stood up to support the community. So it's not only the Somali community, he was the one who was always out there to help every community. And we're not different from other communities, so we're asking the public, we're asking the media, we're asking everybody to participate in the search of uh, Dr. Muhammad Imam Hassan. He was a doctor, he was not only uh, 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 Imam, he was uh, Dr. Muhammad Hassan. So, uh, and the public were requesting to help us finding our Imam. Thank you. And, uh, and I think at this moment his life is in danger because it's 48 hours since he's been missing. Uh, my right side is my uh, Abdul uh, Yes. Um, we want to take a quick opportunity to thank everybody, and then I want to ask his daughter. Um, to speak on behalf of the family and be part of this appeal. Shukri. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, thank you so much. I can't thank enough. Uh, I've been looking at my dad since 7 a.m. yesterday. Um, I had a phone call around 7 a.m. I've been looking at him for him like since 7 a.m. I could not sleep last night. I was looking for him everywhere. Uh, and I, I don't think I can do by myself. There were a lot of people who um, were helping me, Somali community, everyone. So my dad is not missing just Somali community. He was missing from everyone. Um, I wasn't here for that long, but the long time I was here, every single day he was helping someone. And that person was not just Somali or a black person. He was helping everyone. Um, he was, the last time he was helping um, um, the COVID. He was, um, we had a, a big food pantry that we provide everyone. Um, I cannot say that he's just missing from us. I feel like he's missing from everyone, but um, the pain is, all of us. So I really appreciate if you can give us any information, please call a 911. Um, a lot of, we, we posted a lot of flyers. So please, any information that would be valuable, please send it to the police. Um, and, and thank you so much everyone who gathered today. And um, thank you so much. Uh, one quick note I want to add to is that about the vehicle, I just want to add a little information. Once again, it's a 2007 GMC Savannah yellow color. The tag of that vehicle is Ohio license plate number PMO8956. Uh, it's a 2007 GMC Savannah yellow. Um, license plate number is PMO8956. 8956. Um, since Imam Muhammad has been very active within the interfaith community, 
I am really lucky to have some of our friends here present. I'm going to ask Horset, who's also a member of our interfaith community, to say a few words. Hello, everyone. My name is Horset Noah. I'm the Outreach Director of Somali Islamic Centers of Ohio, an umbrella of six Islamic centers. I want to take this opportunity and describe who Muhammad was. Muhammad being a great father, a great husband, and a great son. His job was to fundraise for the orphans. His job was to help the disabled. His job was to feed the homeless, regardless of their religion. Muhammad's job was to fundraise for whenever there is a natural disaster here in our country, the United States of America, and elsewhere. Muhammad was mentoring our youth, and he was encouraging them to stay away from drugs and gang violence. Muhammad's Friday sermons revolved around giving hope to the community. He was telling our youth to be law-abiding, peace-loving, productive members in this country. We want to take this opportunity and also tell those who are at the table of decision makers to listen to our message to reform the police system and to bring Mohammed back to his family. Thank you. Thank you, Oksad. Um, to highlight the level of diversity of the people who has been touched and interacted with Mohammed, I'm going to ask one of my closest friends who also runs a school where Muhammad volunteers, mentors young people, and provides some spiritual guidance. I'm going to ask the, the, the superintendent of Focus Learning Academy to say a few words. Hello, everyone. I, I'm Travis Budd from Focus Learning Academy of Northern and Central Columbus. And I just want to thank everybody for showing up. Um, Muhammad is a dear friend of ours. And if anybody knows anything they can share, I'd like to emphasize how important it is time we don't have a lot of time right now i know it's christmas i know we're all busy we've got stuff we're doing right but five minutes of your time right now would help us out tremendously okay is it, it just please look outside walk down your street if you see that yellow van you can call 911 it's a huge help for us right now okay i know it's a lot to ask but in the faith of everyone right i know it's christmas give something all right thank you Thank you. I'm, uh, the last person I'm going to call uh, will be Dr. Merwan, who has worked with Dr. Muhammad very closely on interfaith work and also AskMuslim.com. Hello, everyone. Um, I have known uh, Dr. Muhammad for the past 20 years, and I, I consider myself one of his closest friends. Um, Dr. Muhammad is, is, is a family man. I, I want to pretty much gonna echo everything that was said already. If the impact that Dr. Muhammad had in the community is not just on a local community. I would say at, even at the national level, Dr. Muhammad is part of IANA, and he's, he's a secretary of IANA, and, and this is a representative of the, most of the Somalis within the United States. The, the impact that Dr. Muhammad have done in the community within and outside, it's enormous. And no one can really withstand what this man have done to this community. This man, he, he, I, I am, my name is Dr. Muhammad. I am the, the president of Ask a Muslim. He is the, uh, Dr. Muhammad is the vice president of Ask a Muslim. He, he runs the Ohio Saving Humanity, which is the food pantry, that serves around 4,000 people or 4,000 families on a monthly basis. This is, this is the impact that this man has have been doing into this community. So if, it's, if anything happens to Dr. Muhammad, it's not just going to be impacting the Somali community. It's going to be impacting everyone else in this community. So we ask you, we beg you, we, you know, anything that you could help to, to help find this man, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, we would be thankful to you. So please, anything you could say, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, anything that you, 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 you could hand to us, we will be grateful to you. Thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Dr. Marwan. And one last note, uh, Dr. Mohammed was missing since Wednesday evening around um, 7 p.m. Uh, we haven't heard from him since that time. The last time he was seen, he was driving a 2007 yellow GMC Savannah vehicle. It was a van. Uh, the, plate number, um, the plate number is an Ohio license, PM. O eight nine five six. Any information 
that anybody can provide about that vehicle or the whereabouts of Dr. Mohammed will be greatly appreciated. Uh, we're grateful to everybody who's present here. Um, and God willing, we will find him safe and sound. And thank you so much for all of those people who came out today. Uh, we're going to distribute flyers about, uh, about who to call, uh, flyers about his p picture, and also uh, the vehicle he was driving. So uh, we're grateful, and thank you so much. Uh, well, I'm going to leave. Uh, in the name of Allah subhanahu in the name of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the in the name of, the, of Allah subhanahu wa taala, the, the most gracious, the most merciful, we ask Allah subhanahu wa taala, we ask God to help us find this man. We ask Allah subhanahu wa taala to to shower this man with mercy and bring him back to his to his family. We ask Allah subhanahu wa taala to to unite this man back to his community and for him to continue doing the good work that he was, he he did and continue to do for this community. We ask Allah subhanahu wa taala in these blessed times and for 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 the sake of us and for the sake of everyone who is present now that we, we plead that, uh, that all the community would collaborate and unite together to bring this man home Jazakumullahu uh, khairan uh, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every person and each and every family and each and every person who helped came, came today to, to, to unite for the sake of bringing this, this noble person Jazakumullahu khair Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh uh, Assalamu alaikum and uh, the, the final thing is we believe uh, our imam's life is in danger and we are asking uh, the law enforcement to be serious about it. So that's the family uh, very, uh, is hearted, the community is hearted and uh, uh, as you listen it, uh, about his biography and what he does for the community is very huge. So please the law enforcement, uh, we believe our imam's life is in danger and we need your help. We need the help of the community, we need the help of the local government. Thank you. So. We're done. Thank you, guys.